Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of today's TK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, on which of the following the National Dolphin Day is celebrated? 5th October, 4th October, 3rd October or 6th October? The correct answer is option A, 5th October. The Union Ministry for Environment, Forest and Climate Change has designated the 5th of October to be celebrated as National Dolphin Day in 2022. Dolphins act as ideal ecological indicators of a healthy aquatic ecosystem. Dolphin conservation would therefore help ensure the survival of the species and the humans who depend on the aquatic ecosystem for their way of life. On August 15, 2020, the project Dolphin was launched by the Prime Minister to include both river dolphins and marine dolphins in its conservation program. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease that is NAFLD. 1. It is caused by heavy use of alcohol. 2. It is the term used for a range of conditions caused by the buildup of fat in the liver. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the research revealed that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD is intrinsically linked with personality disorders. This buildup of fat is not caused by heavy alcohol use. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. When heavy alcohol use causes fat to build up in the liver, this condition is called alcohol-associated liver disease. NAFLD is the term for a range of conditions caused by a buildup of fat in the liver. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Two types of NAFLD are non-alcoholic fatty liver and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news. The VSHO RAD missile system developed by the DRDO is a man-portable air defense system intercontinental ballistic missile, anti-tank guided missile or ballistic missile interceptor. The correct answer is option A, man portable air defense system. Recently, the Indian defense establishment initiated a tender for the procurement of 30 units of the indigenous very short range air defense that is VSHO RAD missile system. It is a man portable air defense system that is man pad specially designed to counter low altitude aerial threats over short distances. These are short range lightweight and portable surface to air missiles that can be fired by individuals or small groups. It is designed to provide short range air defense capabilities to protect ground forces and critical assets from aerial threats including helicopters and low flying aircraft. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the SPRINT initiative recently seen in the news. One, it aims to promote the development of niche defense technologies by domestic companies. Two, it was launched in 2022. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the Indian Navy has given accordance of necessity approval for 12 autonomous weaponized boat swarms which have been developed by Pune-based Sagar Defense Engineering. Sagar Defense Engineering Private Limited has emerged as the winner of the IDEX, that is Innovations for Defense Excellence DISC-7 program, particularly under the SPRINT framework. The SPRINT is an initiative to promote the development of niche defense technologies by domestic companies. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It was launched by the Prime Minister in July 2022. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the quantum dots recently seen in the news. 1. They were first successfully synthesized in late 1980s. 2. They are used in electronic displays. 3. They cannot be used for biomedical purposes. How many of the statements above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently, the 2023 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Mongi G. Bawendi, Louis E. Bruce, 
and Alexei I. Ekimov recently for the discovery and synthesis of quantum dots. Quantum dots often referred to as artificial atoms are semiconductor nanoparticles that have unique optical and electronic properties due to their small size. They were first theorized in the 1970s and then successfully synthesized in the early 1980s. Hence, statement 1 is correct. They are used in display technology to enhance the color and efficiency of displays for TVs, monitors and other electronic devices. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The small size of QDs allowed them to go anywhere in the body, making them suitable for different biomedical applications. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is, among the following places in India, where is it most likely to find a Haploclastus nilgirinus? Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir or Tamil Nadu? The correct answer is option D, Tamil Nadu. Recently, the researchers said that the Haploclastus nilgirinus, a species of tarantula, would, could be under threat from habitat loss and climate change. It is an elusive nilgiri large burrowing spider and a venomous species of tarantula. Tarantulas are a type of large hairy spider belonging to the family Theraphosite. It is endemic to the nilgiri hills of Western Ghats. These hills are part of the Western Ghat mountain range and run across the southern Indian states of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund. 1. It was set up in 2016. 2. It is an institution for enhancing financing by investing in new green field projects only. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Recently, the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund has entered into a collaboration with Japan Bank for international cooperation to unveil a $600 million India-Japan fund. It is an investor-owned fund manager anchored by the government of India in collaboration with leading global and domestic institutional investors. It is India's first ever sovereign wealth fund which was set up in the year 2015. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. It is an institution for enhancing infrastructure financing by investing in greenfield new, brownfield existing and stored projects. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. The primary goal of setting up NIIF was to optimize the economic impact largely through investing in infrastructure related projects. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news, the South Lahonak Lake is located in which of the following? UT of Ladakh, Sikkim, Uttarakhand or Himachal Pradesh? The correct answer is option B, Sikkim. Recently, a glacial lake outburst flood in the South Lahonak Lake of Sikkim killed 10 people and many army personnel are missing. Glacial lakes are large bodies of water that sit in front of, on top of or beneath a melting glacier. This lake in northern Sikkim is situated about 5,200 meters above sea level. It formed due to the melting of the glacier. It is a moraine-dammed glacial lake at the snout of South Lahona Glacier, Sikkim Himalay. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news. The Bojana Konda site is related to which of the following? Buddhism, Jainism, Shaivism or Vaishnavism? The correct answer is option A, Buddhism. Recently, the central government has sanctioned 7.30 crore rupees for taking up landscaping and development of tourist amenities at Bojana Konda site. It is located in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The site was excavated under the ages of Alexander Rim in 1906. It was originally known as Budhuni Konda, that is Hill of the Buddha, but it came to be known as Bojana Konda in the course of time. A gold coin belonging to the Samudra Gupta period, copper coins of the Chalukya king, Kubja Vishnu Vardhan, coins of Andhra Satvahanas and pottery were discovered at the site. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, which of the following articles of Indian constitution deals with the interstate river water disputes resolution? Article 226, 
आर्टिकल 216, आर्टिकल 262 और आर्टिकल 282. एटी टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी टू रिसेंटली द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज़ अप्रूव द टर्म्स ऑफ रेफरेंस फॉर कृष्णा वाटर डिस्प्यूट ट्रिब्यूनल सेकेंड टू रिजॉल्व द मैटर आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी टू डील्स विद द एडजुडिकेशन ऑफ डिस्प्यूट रिलेटिंग टू वाटर्स ऑफ इंटर स्टेट रिवर्स और रिवर वैलीज एंट्री सेवनटीन ऑफ द स्टेट लिस्ट डील्स विद वाटर दैट इज वाटर सप्लाई इरीगेशन कनाल ड्रेनेज एम्बैंकमेंट्स वाटर स्टोरेज एंड हाइड्रो पावर एंट्री फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ द यूनियन लिस्ट एम्पावर्स द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट फॉर द रेगुलेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंटर स्टेट रिवर्स एंड रिवर वैलीज टू द एक्सटेंट डिक्लेयर्ड बाई पार्लियामेंट टू बी एक्सपीडियंट इन द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट दे ऑफ फॉर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज द सागर परिक्रमा फेज नाइन इज एन इनिशिएटिव ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंसिस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पोर्ट्स शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री और मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग अलॉन्ग विद मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट विल लॉन्च सागर परिक्रमा फेज नाइन ऑन सेवंथ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एट थोंडी रामनाड डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु सागर परिक्रमा इज एन आउटरीच प्रोग्राम इंटेंडेड to reach out fishermen community across the entire coastal belt of the country the initiative has been launched to understand the issues experiences and aspirations of fishermen it also aims to create awareness of various schemes and programs of the government available to fishermen in coastal areas therefore option d is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question recently the palm jaggery udan gudi Panan Garu Patti has got the geographical indication tag. It belongs to which of the following? Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, or Telangana? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.